this entitled mum threatens to quit her job when she doesn't get her way. But the employer is about to call her bluff, and EM's response is more than priceless. Happy birthday if today's your birthday, and on with the show. Okay, a little bit of backstory. My godfather moved in with us at the beginning of the pandemic, and this started shortly after. My godfather owns a small hair salon that his daughter works at, important later. He tries to be fair, and she usually ends up with the worst shifts, even though she just had a baby, because she has the least seniority, and my godfather lets the senior stylists pick their shifts to an extent. This is where the entitled mother comes in. She worked maybe seven hours a week before the pandemic started, and it needed to be a specific day shift because she needed to be home taking care of her kids. She texted my godfather to ask for different hours once the salon opened again. I asked him to send me screenshots, but he just turned around and handed me a printed copy of the transcript because he had to type it up for the court anyway. This will be word for word except names, obviously, and I bleeped out cursing. Side note, at this point, my godfather's daughter was expecting to move across the country in May. Okay, so uncle equals godfather, daughter equals uncle's daughter, and EM equals entitled mother. The following is a text exchange, and really, it speaks for itself. April 24th. So, are we for sure opening back on May 1st? And what is our schedule going to be? May 4th unless the county extends the order for us to close. Same schedule as before. I'll be closing at 4 on Fridays though. No one to cover that shift. Well, I have to work the night shift while my kids are out of school. What night shifts will you need covered? Other employee 1 is covering them. Okay, so where does that leave me? I don't have anyone to watch my kids. I was working Thursday and Friday night before my kids were in school, and I was hoping I could work those shifts again? I've had you Wednesday day and Thursday night. You are welcome to work Friday nights. Saturday has hours available also. I can have daughter do Thursday all day. I can work Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday night if need be, but I can't do the morning while my kids are out at school. We had discussed this when I got the morning shift that I would alternate between the summer and school year. Did you forget? I'm sure I did. Okay, so are you going to be able to work with me? Sure, 3 to 7 or 4 to 7. 4 to 7. April 25th. So I take it you gave other employee 2 her same schedule even though other employee 1 suggested you can now give her night shifts also. When the school year starts again, I will need to have mornings again, which you're now aware of, right? First of all, it is not your concern when and where other employee 2 is scheduled. I am done hearing about it. You are the most difficult to schedule, as you always need things changed. I have done my best to accommodate you. I just accommodated you again. And your concern in other employees 2 schedule? So you cannot work days and you're concerned that other employee 2 is? If I put employee 2 on nights, who covers the day? I cannot guarantee anything as far as moving around constantly, as business and employees constantly change. I am down to 4 employees, and it will be 3 by the end of May. Can you find me employees and inform me of what shifts you will allow them to work? I have enough stress in my life to keep worrying about my 7 hours a week employees needs, and her concerns about everyone else's schedule on a constant basis. I will do what I can, when I can, and what works best for my business. Okay, first of all, uncle, my only intentions of working for you is to help you and your business thrive. I don't give a frick about anyone else's schedule, but what I do care about is the fact that you let people that you don't give a crap about run the show and tell you how it's gonna be. Why is that my concern? Let me tell you why, because it affects my livelihood. When I give my employer the utmost respect and take care of my clients as well as being there for my kids, I deserve the same respect. So your 7 hour a week employee that sells your products, doesn't milk your clock, who has your back, is worth more than that. I've always come through to help you when you're in need. And I mention other employee too because she does not. But you want to stick up for her and let her do whatever she wants, even at the expense of turning away business from your shop. I simply asked you what date we were going to open, because I already got clients hitting me up and have been the entire time. And all you have to say is other employee one is working those shifts. WTF. 
Okay, so apparently she's changed her schedule, which you're okay with. Need I say more? Then the fact you've always been a jerk to me, attempting to fire me, believing the lies of a freak, when you yourself went to court dealing with the same thing, and saying that I'm constantly changing the schedule? No, I initially changed to help you guys, which of course you don't remember. I had already asked for it to change two times a year, but of course you forget about that too. You just said it yourself, that things constantly change, right? Yeah, so you need to accept that fact and do what works for your employees. It doesn't take a genius to figure it out. You signed up for this drama-driven occupation, so deal. I was offering to work three nights instead of the two I normally work just to help you. And this is how you respond? Wow, you're the one that makes it complicated. You've never valued me. You just don't see a good thing when it's right in front of you. It's sad. By the way, FYI, you never did tell me what it is I'm working. That's how much you respect me. So what are you accommodating for me? Exactly what you asked for. So I take it you're giving other employee 2 her same schedule even though other employee 1 suggested you can now give her night shifts also? When the school year starts again, I will need to have mornings again, which you're now aware of, right? Where in this last text you sent me does it state any of the crap you just blew up at? All I see is it says what you stated. What about other employee too? Go back and start at the beginning of the convo. I guess I should just fire other employee too and have you work days to better my business. Oh darn, you can't and won't. I should fire her and be down to two employees. That would work, I guess. You and other employee one covering all the shifts. You can work every night if you'd like. I prefer two people per shift. Other employee one gave me one per shift by working the entire day. I had not talked to you yet to see if you'd like to be the second. I also knew you wanted days and not nights. First, when I told you what I needed and then asked you what nights do you need covered, you said other employee one is covering them. Them meaning all the nights. Then you said daughter will work all day Thursday, which means the night I always work. Thursday and Friday nights and in the summer. You said I could work Friday nights. So I offered Thursday night, Friday night and Wednesday night to help you. Look uncle, it's very simple. During the school year, when my kids are in school, it does them no good for me to be home all day and then go to work when they get home. So during the school year, I need mornings, with the exception of a morning off to help at the school and no Fridays for school activities. Then in the summertime, while my kids are out of school, I'm with them all day and that's why I can spare my nights. Also because I have no one to watch them in the morning while my husband is at work and he doesn't get home until 4, hence why I can't come until 4. When school started, I came to you and you could only give me one morning. So I had to change my Friday night for the Wednesday morning. So when someone, like myself, needs to change their schedule to accommodate kids, then everybody should not have a problem with that. Other employee too did mornings when her child was young, but her schedule hasn't changed. I know it's better for other employee one to do mornings because she also has a young child in school. She also has daycare for her at night so she can work. I don't give a crap what nights I work in the summer or what mornings I work during the school year, but until I know what day is available for me at the school, I have to be able to arrange that with you when the time comes. It may also be different, but it's twice a year. You will do it for your own daughter. Schedules change and always will. If I didn't have kids, I would be your puppet. Do you not understand that? Give me an all day in the summer if you need. I don't freaking care. Does it make sense? To you yet? I understand why you do what you do. Just because you have changing needs does not mean I need to rearrange my business. No, I do not make exceptions for my daughter. I make her take the remaining shifts and she has a newborn. She did not and does not tell me when she can and can't work. I do my best to work around what she needs, but it does not change in most cases. You think everyone needs to move around to accommodate your few hours when they work four times more hours than you. If I can accommodate you, I have and will. It is not summer, so I did not know you were changing already. I do not have kids, 
so I do not pay attention to those things. I had you at your regular schedule you had been on. I know you did not want to work nights. So other employee one offered. I took her up on it. I had two other thoughts also. Will there be enough business to maintain the same hours we had prior to the virus? Or do I not need a second person for each shift? So I am not exactly sure what is the best plan. So that is why I told you, other employee one, had it covered. How would I know you needed to switch earlier than normal and now needed nights? Then you tell me you need nights and then complain other employee two has days. Hence my frustration, let alone trying to manage all of this. Find a way to pay all the bills for the salon with zero income coming in, finalizing a divorce, trying to find a new place to live, trying to get state and federal help so I can stay afloat, losing 90% of my personal income and doing it all while having emergency back surgery and being unable to do anything. Can't walk, can't leave the house, and I'm on lots of medication that makes it hard to accomplish anything. You don't got a clue, Mr. Uncle, but if that's how you feel, then you're ignorant. And you need to remember, we don't need you, you need us. You got it all backwards. You wouldn't have a business if it weren't for us, because you don't do our job. And I know daughter, so don't talk to me about that crap, daddy. Sorry you feel that way. As an employer, I need employees. I can choose which ones. Employees need to respect the employer. We obviously do not and will not get along. That being said, take your clients and find a new salon you can take care of them at. Hopefully that salon will let you decide your schedule. You are not welcome to come back to mine. I'll find more help at some point. With all due respect, reading your text to my husband? I did not see the rest of your text when I responded back. I only read it to the part that you were talking about daughter. But I do feel bad for you. And you know as well as I do that a stylist don't come a dime a dozen. So unfortunately, you don't get to pick and choose who you hire. And you obviously don't listen to me. Because I never said I want mornings. I prefer nights. But I have to do what's best for my kids. And because of the virus, the summer is here. And the kids are done with school for the year. So duh. I wasn't planning on changing my schedule this early either. I'm very easy to get along with and I'm a devoted, valuable worker who is great with the customers and I'm good at what I do. If you're already struggling now, then you will continue to struggle because of this epidemic. So if you feel the need to not have me work for you and help you, then peace emoji. And I don't have to work for anybody because I have a salon in my house. And believe me, a lot of my clients will gladly follow. Now is probably not the time to make rash decisions. Since you're all doped up, so talk to me when you're better. I am perfectly alert at the moment. Best of luck at your home salon. You're a good stylist. I know you will do fine. I don't have to work. I was only doing it for the people and you. So if that's the way you want it, then you're making a bad decision. How dare you treat me this way? You're so freaking unappreciative. Best of luck owning a salon. You're a phony and lied about not wanting to change what former owner had. You're heartless when I was always good to you. You'll be frowned upon by a lot of people in the community. April 28th. Good morning, uncle. Please give me another chance. I'm so sorry for the other day. Someone came and took my body, hijacked it from me. It wasn't my intention to act like that. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I promise I won't say another word about anything ever again. Let me make it up to you. I'll do anything. I'm locked up in a cage like the rest of the world with two little girls that want to rip their heads off each other and they are rubbing off on me. Please, I'm begging you to give me another chance. I'm on my knees. Please, please, please. Praying hands emoji. Just one more chance. I'm sorry. Crying emoji. I'm in a really good mood today. Please let that continue. Please don't say no. Crying emoji. April 30th. Have you given any thoughts to my plea? End text. But wait, there's more. The lady filed for unemployment and obviously uncle turned it down. She took him to court. I was at work, so sadly I didn't get to hear the session. But my partner was home and uncle had them on speaker, so he got to hear the whole thing. Apparently she spent the whole time crying and the judge had to tell her to shut up several times. I'm sure the audio is in the Utah public record somewhere, or the transcript at the very least. I'm not sure how to access it though. They ruled in favor of uncle, clearly. Oh man, you just knew that whole time that she was faking it? She was way too aggressive. You could just sense there was some sort of insecurity there. Pfft, 
I don't need you. I've got my own home salon, blah, blah, blah. Okay, if that was the case, then uh, why are you even working there? Apparently, you're just doing it out of the kindness of your heart. Yes, most working conditions suck because work itself sucks. Everyone has to do it to survive. But here's the thing that this entitled parent doesn't understand. When you're working at a job, it's your job to serve others. That's why the boss will try and accommodate you as much as he can, but he's not actually in control of it either. His job is to serve the customers. If the boss set the schedule based on the worker's needs rather than the customer's needs, it's not going to survive as a business. So what's hidden beneath it that she really won't admit is the fact that she doesn't want to serve others' needs, she wants others to serve her needs. That's the whole premise for our society. You sacrifice when you do your job and you work, and then you get served when you're the customer. Submit your story to be read on the channel at voiceyhearstories at gmail.com and join our Voicey Veteran community at r slash voiceyhear. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to never miss an episode. Alright Voicey Veterans, I'll see you in the next one.